I don't know. I just think that if you need to have the, the gun, the <laughs> there needs to be a dress code also. You can't just have the gun and then wear, you need this, the rest of this needs to match. Because not only do you have a weapon, you also have a very aggressive accessory now. All right? You have a centerpiece to your outfit. It's the focal point, and the rest of it needs to coordinate. All right? That's what I'm saying. It's, you ever see a woman out with a tiara, but no ball gown? Just like sweatpants? That's a crazy person. That's what crazy looks like. That's not someone making sensible decisions. No, that's a woman just yelling out, the Kremlin stole my babies! <laughs> and everybody is like, I don't even need to be in this auto zone right now. I don't even need... <laughs> what did I need, seat covers? I'll get seat covers tomorrow. I'm gonna let this weird homeless princess find her children. <laughs> that's the same thing with a gun. You can't just have that and then not... This. If you have a gun here, the outfit needs to make you look like a responsible member of society, like you know what you're gonna do if that gun comes out of the holster. If there's a gun here, this shit needs to look like John Wayne or Indiana Jones or Captain America. I don't know, something that people would be like, well, he knows what he's gonna do with the gun if it's gonna come out of the holster. I was in Colorado, I saw a guy who was open carry right there, and I, I saw the, the, the gun first, and then I saw that it was attached to some board shorts. No! Long pants! Long pants! You have a weapon! Long pants! Is this low-rent Johnny Utah shit when you got it clipped on to some swim trunks? With drawstrings? He's using drawstrings to hold up the weight of a gun. You know how tight you gotta pull those drawstrings? Now I know he's in a bad mood because his hips have been chafing all day. And that's not the attitude you should have with a firearm walking around like, I should have powdered because I'm just getting all red on my hip bone. What are you looking at? Stop looking at my calves. And flip-flops. Get out of my country. Flip-flops. Flip-flops. I don't even own guns, but I know that if you're gonna draw down on somebody because you're one of those good guys with a gun that stops all that crime, thank you so much for how often that's been happening. If you're one of those guys, if you want to get, if you want good aim, closed-toed shoes. God damn it, closed toad shoes. Well, you're gonna be, you're the one who's gonna stop a crime when you just, you just, un, you just, when you take it out of the holster and then you're just swishing around in your Tevas. <laughs> Explain that to the cops when they get to the scene. Like, what happened here? Well, I saw the perpetrator run out of the bank with a duffel bag full of loose bills, so I deduced that he had robbed the bank and then fortunately I had a license, open carry, and so I went in pursuit of the suspect, but what had happened kind of during that pursuit is I, I Jimmy Buffett myself, right on, <laughs> I just straight up Margaritaville myself and blew out a flip-flop. You know saw parrot heads, right? All right, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I shanked it. I did, I shanked it. That one went off. That one went off into the playground over there. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, right? I was trying to do the right thing.